Okay, so let's take a look at buffer solutions, okay? So the assessment statement uh, we're looking at here is 18.2.1, and it's describe the composition of a buffer solution and explain its action, basically explain how it works. So let's start with the definition of a buffer solution. Um, a buffer solution resists, chain, resists a change in pH when small amounts of acid or alkali are added. Now the word small here is very important. If you're asked for a definition of a buffer solution, you must include the words uh, small when small amounts of acid or alkali are added. Okay, so what's the composition of a buffer solution? Uh, an acidic buffer solution is made by mixing a weak acid with a solution of its salt of a strong alkali. Okay, so let's look at an example here. We've got CH3COOH, which is um, ethanoic acid, right? It's a weak acid. And we've got the salt here, okay? Um, that's sodium ethanoate okay so let's look how we uh, produce that we reacted um, ethanoic acid which is here okay and that's uh, uh, WA weak acid sodium hydroxide is an SB strong base and we've made a salt so here's a salt okay and that one is the same as above there that's sodium ethanoate and we have water okay so our buffer solution um, is going to contain the weak acid and the salt of the weak acid with a strong base okay so let's have a look at the composition of a buffer solution okay so we have here um, ethanoic acid okay now, what do we know about ethanoic acid? Well, of course, it's a weak acid, and we have an equilibrium um, here. And by the way, this is called the ethanoate ion, okay? And we have the H plus, the hydronium ion, okay? Now, because this is an equilibrium and it's a weak acid, the equilibrium lies to the left. Okay, so that means in our buffer solution, because the equilibrium lies to the left, we have a high, a relatively high concentration of our weak acid, CH3COOH. Okay, now let's look at the salt. Um, uh, this salt fully dissociates. Now, of course, a weak acid like this one here, ethanoic acid is partially dissociated but this salt here fully dissociates so it it basically breaks up if you like into this here which is the um, sodium ion and this here which again is the ethanoate ion okay and because it fully dissociates we end up with a high concentration of this so in our buffer solution we have a high concentration of that there, okay, the ethanoic acid, and we have a high concentration of the ethanoate, ethanoate ion, okay? Now, what's the effect of adding acid or base to this buffer solution? Well, if you add acid, okay, this is adding acid. Um, of course, the acid is the H+. Plus. If you add the H+, plus, it reacts with this uh, ethanoate ion here, okay, to give you ethanoic acid here, okay? So if you like, this H+, plus is used up, okay? So if I add some acid, the H+, plus is used up, therefore, the pH of the buffer solution will not change if I add a small amount of acid, okay? Now, what if we add base? Okay, so this one is adding base. Okay, so 
the base is OH negative. So the OH negative reacts with this here, the ethanoic acid, and it gives you the products here, the ethanoate ion and water. So again, if you add uh, small amounts of base, the OH negative is used up in this reaction here. Okay, so basically, by adding H plus or OH negative, remember it's small amounts. Okay, if I add small amounts of each of these in these two reactions here and here, the H plus and OH negative are used up. So therefore, the pH doesn't change. Okay, and that's basically the action of a buffer solution.